Mr. Wilson, removing your front wheel off your busser. Fairings off, ignore that, because I'm doing 50,000 K service, so I'm going right through, I'm doing everything. But we want the front wheel off. Bit of a pain in the ass. Calipers, two bolts, each one. Make sure you loosen both of them, most of the way out. So we take one all the way out, and you under the other one real suddenly, it might flick over and hit your rim. Could mark your rim. So once you've got them out of the undone, time back, whatever. Right, these two, leave them tight. These two, take out. The shaft will screw out, and the other end of it will still be in there. Okay. That's why you don't loosen them two over there. Once you've loosened these two, do it before you even jack your bike up. Once they're loose, pump shocks up and down a bit. Sit on the bike and slam the shocks up and down a bit. It'll just help spread your forks, make everything square when it's coming undone. Alright, so the tool I used for that was this beast all right so we got the old 13th 16th spark plug socket which fit nicely in the end of there like that now you could slam a set of motor grips on there and undo it but that tire is nine years old so uh, that's the reason for changing it. But what I did, so I found a wheel nut, reasonable length one. So that ends in the bike. Put my wheel nut in there. And then wrong end, go to the right end, into the ring spanner. It could have been a socket wrench or whatever. And there's your tool, that easy. Alright, so once you undo that side, wind him out, you can then loosen off that side. Now because I didn't want to lift the bike any higher, the bike's sitting on the trolley jack there, I loosened off the guard, so I could just tilt the guard back to roll the wheel out. Alright, that's about it. Um, make sure everything's clean. Pretty self-explanatory as you go along. You know, the guard was just three bolts, one, two, and then one on the back. A couple of clips for cables. Now there is a bit of a clip there for a hose. That's why I didn't pull it all the way out. But I didn't need to, I just wanted to be able to tilt him back a bit just to run the wheel out without having to lift the bike up. And that's pretty much it. Um, once the new tyres on, I already checked the bearings. So once the wheel is off the ground, I'll check for bearing play. There's no bearing play, that's good. So I'll clean the shaft, grease the shaft, and then basically put it back together the opposite way as what it came apart. It's that easy. Um, don't touch your brake while your pads are, your calipers aren't in because the pistons will shut in your calipers and that's just an extra job for you. So just avoid that. Um, I'll put my bolts generally back where they come from, but well, I know where they are. But the rest of them, it's not too difficult to chuck them in an ice cream container, ready to go. So she goes in tomorrow to get the new tyre, and I'll put the rim tape on, same as what the back's got, and we'll be cruising. Alright, like, share, subscribe. I'll try and do another fast video on changing your plugs. Later.